This is Patch.com, San Mateo County. Welcome to Patch.com, San Mateo County on Peninsula Television. I'm Stacy Chan. Here are this week's video news snippets captured by our reporters throughout the county. For more in-depth news stories from the past week, visit yourtown.patch.com. Let's roll them. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt. Um, I'm on the school board in San Carlos, but I also happen to be in the production of The Wizard of Oz by the San Carlos Children's Theater, which does a community production every two years for adults and kids. And after watching my kids do these shows for many, many years, I got excited and decided to audition myself. So I'm going to be the Cowardly Lion in the production that's happening in May. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Anthony Hop, I'm the set designer, and Carol Elliott, I'm the set coordinator for Wizard of Oz. And we have some fun things for this show. We have a house that spins, does a 360. Um, it moves all over the stage. We have a bed that does the same thing, so the tornado is going to be one of our favorite scenes. I'm Juliet Stedman, and I'm a makeup artist. And I'm Dominic Cialdini, and I'm the Tin Man. So, Steppers, you're going. Whip, 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 bend, step, bend, step, and step. Bad Okay, so this is a toilet tank bank, okay? So what you do is you fill this with water, you hook it on the back of your tank. That's the tank on the back of your toilet. And this is a, this diverts water. This is displacing this much water every time you flush your toilet, which is a water conservation tool. Isn't that cool? Woo! Hello, I'm Larissa Burchos from NDNU. Hey, and I'm Brittany Englingay from NDNU as well. And we're here to represent the Sister Dorothy Stang Center, which is a center for social justice and community engagement. We do a lot of environmental justice as well, and we're here to represent Sister Dorothy and her legacy of rebuilding the rainforest in Anapu, Brazil. All right. Okay. okay. Every single day on average, we get 750 tons of garbage. That's equal to um, 30 of those red trucks that are outside. So said we send 30 of those trucks every single day to the Ox Mountain landfill in Hampton Bay. We had a number of residential burglaries, and a lot of these burglars seem to be coming from out of the area. They're coming from the East Bay, they're coming from up in San Francisco, and they're driving down the 280 corridor and hitting the towns usually from the west and they work their way. You get somebody that comes to your door, knocks on the door, and if they don't get an answer, they'll uh, either go around the side or the rear of the residence and find a window or door that's unlocked. If they don't have that, they'll actually use a pry mechanism to pry your window or door. At that point, they'll go into your home and they'll usually use your own suitcases and bags to gather up uh, electronic items that you have handy, jewelry that you have handy. You're looking th for things that are smaller, that's easier for them to carry. Uh, normally, they're working in groups of two or three. and spread out or together? They're usually together. They Don't usually it. have a car parked somewhere in the neighborhood.
McGuire Jail was already bolted at the seams. It's now even worse. Um, and, and we really want to do, we think realignment is an opportunity to do a better job of rehabilitation of, of our prisoners and having a new facility that is, that is more modern, not bolting at the seams, we really believe that we can do that. You, you may know that about 50% of the people in our jail are mentally ill or they have drug and alcohol difficulties. We, it's hard to rehab when they're, when, they're, when they're just jammed into uh, places. And so I, back to Measure A, I think that we will uh, put, try to do a stronger drug rehab. March is also Women's History Month, so at this point, I want us to put our hands together and recognize four women who literally made history by getting this tunnel on the ballot into the national budget and into this mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Lenny Roberts. <laughs> Kirsten Tucker, Yay! April Vargas, Yay! and Senator Barbara Boxer. Yay! For more in-depth local San Mateo County news, visit your town dot patch dot com. Check out the Peninsula TV studio with over 2,000 square feet of space in the auditorium of the Sam Trans building in San Carlos. One studio, many looks. From a simple talk show to an onstage production, from musical performances to business webcasts, PowerPoint presentations, Skype interviews. With our state-of-the-art control room, we're one mouse click away from going live from our studio to the internet or to Peninsula TV. For more information, call 650-637-1936 or use the contact us form at pentv.tv. Hey, did you know that Peninsula TV is available to over 230,000 households in San Mateo County? And then there's the internet. We stream all of our programming on our website, pentv.tv. Our website has everything you need to know about what's going on in San Mateo County. From kids to healthcare, from sports to business, from politics to lifestyles. Peninsula Television, your independent source for news, information, and entertainment since 1999. Hi, I'm Katie Rilletto, and I'm a local professional media producer. Thanks to Penn TV's volunteer program, I was able to expand upon my experience and gain some amazing training in the areas of television production right here in the Bay Area. The staff at Penn TV is very skilled and experienced in all aspects of technical production and really helped me learn and grow. If you're interested in finding out more about Penn TV's volunteer program, please visit them at www.pentv.tv and click on the volunteer tab. Thanks, Penn TV. Hey folks, Mitch Jurisich and John Avendroth here with the re-airings of Hooked on Golf. Hooked on Golf. Watch it on Peninsula TV. Catch it Tuesday or Thursday night at 7.30. And on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday at 4.30. Right here on Peninsula TV. Peninsula Television says thank you to these organizations and government entities for their support in 2012. And thank you for watching Peninsula Television.